Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and welcome to another Mosaic Monday. This is pattern number 32. <laughs> yes, pattern 32. All right, so um, in today's tutorial, we're going to be working in a multiple of 22 plus 4. I'm also going to include the instructions for those of you who might want to do this in the round. And down in the description, you're going to find the yarn that I'm using. You guys are going to be seeing this right here primarily in the video. We're in the browns and yellow tone. I don't let it color change on us. And you guys can keep up with me based on color. So you will see this. And then I am showing you the rest of it so that you guys can get a good look at the secondary pattern that will be exposed as you continue to work up. There is a pattern in between a pattern. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. So uh, this will be a really good one for a large project like a blanket and project ideas are down in the description as well. I'll link any other videos that I may think would be helpful to you guys, including an in the round tutorial. If you are wanting to do in the round, but you've never worked one of my patterns in the round, that video will be linked down below. And we're going to jump in. Crochet hook that I'm using will also be listed down below as well as crochet hooks you can use with different sizes of yarn. So everything's down there in that description. And for those of you who want to see the back side and what that looks like, I've got my stitch markers helping me. The back side on this one looks like this. So this one is not super heavy on double crochets where it has like a ton of double crochets in the um, in a section all together, making those gaps really bad. You just have a little bit of gapping. But if you don't like that, you can use the Crochet Architects um, anchored double crochet method. I uh, will link her video down below as well. Oh, and before I forget in advance, um, I'm going to apologize for my nail color in the video. I didn't realize it would look like that under the lighting. So it's kind of gaudy, but um, <laughs> nothing I can do about it. So let's hop in and get started. So we're going to begin working our project now. We will begin working in color B. So we're going to work our starting chain first to get set up. So you need to work in the multiple of 22 and in color B. So you're going to chain 22 over and over as many times as you like. And then you will add four chains to that end of your starting chain. Or if you're going to work in the round, you are going to just chain in the multiple of 22 and then slip stitch to the first chain that you made to form a ring and then begin working the repeats given in this video in that same stitch that we slip stitch into. And you guys working in the round will just focus on the repeats that I'm giving. For all the rest of us, since we're going to be working flat in this video, we're going to chain out in the multiple of 22 add four chains to the end, and then we'll begin row one. For those of you who are going to work a swatch with me, I have chained the multiple of 22 twice. So that's 44 chains. And then I've added four to the end for a total of 48 starting chains. Row one is going to begin now, but if you're not ready for row one, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. For the rest of us, we're going to begin row one by skipping the first chain and working here into the second chain from our hook. So all we need to do is go into that complete stitch and complete a traditional single crochet. So that means we go under the V and now we just work a tra traditional single crochet just like normal. Row one's repeat is very easy. We're going to be working all of our repeat stitches that are single crochets by picking up the back loop only. So all single crochets in the repeat are worked exactly the same. So we pick up one side of that stitch, the back loop, and then we complete a single crochet just like normal, just working in that back loop. So that is what we need to do in all of our stitches all the way down this row. 
And then in the very last stitch of the row, we're going to be placing a traditional single crochet. So you can pause and come meet back up with me when you have one stitch left to work. We're now at the end of row number one and we have one stitch left. So we are going to work into that complete stitch doing a traditional single crochet. And that is how you will be working every single last stitch on every row. You're going to go under the V and then we just finish out a single crochet like normal. So every single Final stitch of every row will be worked exactly like that doing the traditional single crochet. So now we can chain up and clip our yarn so that we move on to row number two. We're now moving on to row number two. So this is what your work will look like after completing row one. Now we're going to identify the very first stitch in our row. So we have one turning chain that began this row so we want to scoot that down out of the way and then we want to get under that v in the very first stitch so your first stitch will never move but that turning chain will scoot down so you want to just make sure you're not working into this and you're going in here so we want to now add on color a this time and i am using a color changing yarn so it's going to mostly be this tone of color though for the tutorial so we add our slip knot on and now we pull up that loop we can now chain one and we go back into the same exact stitch And we finish out a traditional single crochet, just like normal. That is how we join on and start every single row. So I won't show that every row since it won't be changing. So we're going to now begin the repeat for row number two, which is the same as row number one. We're going to be working a single crochet so picking up that back loop for our repeat for row number two. So you will place a back loop only single crochet, which I'll be referring to as a single crochet for the rest of the video. You're going to work one of those in every single stitch. So we will be back in just a moment to move on to row number three, where our mosaic work is going to begin. And as a reminder, our final stitch in this row, in every row, will be a traditional single crochet. So we just get under that V and finish out our stitch just like normal. And chain up two and clip your yarn to bind off. We are now going to begin row three. Actual mosaic work is going to begin for row number three. So we need to add on color B this time. And again, you will be adding it on just like normal. So our normal way of doing that is identify that very first stitch. So we want to move that chain one out of the way. And then we want to go into the V. Oh, there we go. I'm completely into the stitch. And now I grab color A and add that on. 
we chain one, and then we go back down into the same exact stitch and work our traditional single crochet. Now for row number three, our repeat is going to begin by doing eight single crochets over the next eight stitches. So we begin, we identify the very next stitch, and we do our first single crochet. So there's number one, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight. Now we will do one double crochet. All of our double crochets are gonna be worked exactly the same throughout this entire tutorial. So we wrap our yarn like we're going to do a normal double crochet. We identify our next stitch and we slide directly down two rows below and pick up that front loop. Now we grab and pull up, grab and pull through two, grab and pull through two. So we complete a normal double crochet. Our position and where we place the stitch is what makes it mosaic and it's what we need to do for this pattern to work out right. So you are dropping down two rows below, one, two, in order to pick up the front loop that we left by doing back loop only single crochets. Now we're going to continue our repeat by working five single crochets over the next five stitches. So we identify the next stitch. If you are ever unsure where your next stitch is, because it's very important you maintain count, you can fold back this double crochet and each double crochet will take up one stitch on that back row, the row behind it that we're covering up. So then we can pick up and begin doing our five single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we will do one double crochet here in this next stitch. Identify, slide down. And we will end our repeat by doing seven single crochets over the next seven stitches. Go right there, very next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
That ends our repeat for row number three. So let's recap what we just did. Row three's repeat began over here when we did a total of eight single crochets. One double crochet. Five single crochets. One double crochet. And we end with seven single crochets. So we're going to work the repeat one more time together. But for those of you who are experienced with mosaic crochet, you can just move on down the rest of your row, starting back over with your eight single crochets and keep working this same set of stitches all the way down. And then we'll meet back up to do the row in together. For the rest of us, we're going to move on and do the repeat one more time together. So the repeat for row three begins now, and it begins by doing eight single crochets over the next eight stitches. So here's number one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One double crochet into this next stitch. Five single crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, one double crochet. Seven single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six and seven. And that ends our repeat for row number three. So we've done two repeats of on row three. And this is what our work will look like after completing another repeat. For me, I'm now at the end of the row. So I'm going to show you guys the row in now. If you're not ready for this, you can pause the video now. Otherwise, all of our row ends will work out exactly the same in the meaning that we will have two stitches left at the end of every single row. And the way that we're going to handle these stitches is we restart our repeat for one stitch and then we know last stitch in the row is a traditional single crochet. So for row number three, we begin 
our rows by doing eight single crochets. So this next stitch will be a single crochet. So we're going to go into that next stitch and complete a single crochet for this row. And then we will do a traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row. So you'll be working all of your row ends exactly the same, whatever the repeat begins with for that row, that's what's gonna go in the second to last stitch. And then traditional single crochet, of course, in the very last. Doing that will give you an even row beginning and row end. So I now have a total of eight single crochets and one traditional single crochet at the end of my row which matches with what I have down here at the beginning of my row. So now we're going to chain up two and bind off and we'll be back for row number four. Row four begins by joining on with color A and we are going to move on to begin our repeat now. This is what your work will look like after you've completed those first three rows. Row four's repeat begins by doing one double crochet into the very next stitch. Identify, slide directly down, picking up that front loop. Eight single crochets over the next eight stitches. Next, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. We will now do one double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, And we will end our repeat by doing eight single crochets over these next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And that ends our repeat for row number four. So let's recap. Row four's repeat began over here with one double crochet, 
eight single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with eight single crochets. So you will be starting back over with the repeat, completing a double crochet next, and you'll work this exact set of stitches on down your row. And as a reminder, at the end of the row, you will have two stitches left. You will restart your repeat for one stitch, and then you will single crochet under the V, so a traditional single crochet in the very last stitch. We are now moving on to row number five, so please join on with color B. Our repeat for row number five begins by doing one single crochet here into this next stitch. One double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, Two double crochets, one, and two, three single crochets. One, two, three, one, double crochet. one single crochet, so one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and three, two double crochets, one, and number two, three single crochets, one, two, and three. One double crochet will end our repeat. So now let's recap what we just did for row number five. 
Row five's repeat began over here when we did one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you will start back over with the single crochet and keep working that same set of stitches over and over on down your row. End of the row, you will have two stitches left and you will restart your repeat for one stitch and then traditional single crochet into the last stitch of the row. So for row five, that means you're going to start your repeat, which is a single crochet. So a back loop only single crochet and then traditional single crochet at the end of the row. So pause and we'll be back in just a moment. We are now going to begin row number six. So please join on color A and we'll get started. Our repeat for row number six begins by doing one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, One, two, three, four, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, four, one double crochet,
and we will end by doing one single crochet here into this very next stitch. And that ends our repeat for row number six. So let's recap what we just did. We started our repeat for row six over here when we did one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet. So you will start back over with your double crochet and keep working that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. And then we will meet back up for row number seven in just a moment. We're now moving on to row number seven, so please join on color B. Our repeat for row seven begins with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, One, two, three, four, one double crochet. five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. One double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. And 
And that ends our repeat for row number seven. So let's recap what we just did. We began the repeat for row number seven over here when we did one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet to end the repeat. So you will start back over with the single crochet and keep working from here through here. And that's all you need to do to finish up your row. Remember, end of the row, two stitches will be left. Restart your repeat for one stitch and then traditional single crochet in the last. So for row number seven, that means you're gonna have a single crochet and then your traditional single crochet. So pause and we'll be back in just a moment. Here's what your work will look like after completing the first seven rows. We are now moving on to row number eight. So please join on color A. Row number eight's repeat begins with one double crochet worked here into this next stitch. Now we're going to work three single crochets over the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now we will work two double crochets one, and here's number two. Three single crochets over the next three stitches. One, two, and number three. Two double crochets. One, and number two. One single crochet here into this very next stitch. Two double crochets. One. And number two. Three single crochets over the next three stitches. One. Two. And number three. two double crochets right here next two stitches one and number two three single crochets one Two, 
two and number three. And that ends our repeat for row number eight. So let's recap what we did. We began our repeat for row number eight over here doing one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, and we end by doing three single crochets. We'll be back in just a moment for row number nine. Here's what our work will look like after completing row number eight. We are now moving on to row number nine. So please join on color B. Row nine's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. Two double crochets. One, and number two, three single crochets, behind, one, two, and number three. two double crochets, one, and number two, and number two, there we go. Now we're going to do three single crochets over the next three stitches. There's number one, two, and three. One double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, and number three, two double crochets, One, number one, now number two. Three single crochets. One, two, and number three. Now we will end our repeat by doing two double crochets over these next two stitches. There's number one. And number two. And that ends the repeat for row number nine. So let's recap what we did. 
Row nine's repeat began over here with one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So you will start back over with that single crochet and keep working that exact same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. We'll be back for row 10 in just a moment. Here's what your work will look like after completing row nine. We are now moving on to row number 10. Please join on color A. Row 10's repeat begins by doing one double crochet, two single crochets, one, and two. two double crochets, one, and two. Three single crochets, one, two, and number three. Two double crochets, one, and number two. three single crochets, one, two, three, two double crochets, one and number two three single crochets one two three, two double crochets, one, two, two single crochets, one, and two. And that ends our repeat for row number 10. So let's recap. Row 10's repeat began over here when we did one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, three 
single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So you will start back over with your double crochet and keep working this set of stitches on down the rest of your row. Row 11 begins now by joining on with collar B. Row 11's repeat begins immediately by doing one single crochet here into this next stitch. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and number three. Two double crochets. One. And number two. Three single crochets. One. Two, three, three double crochets, one, two, three, three single crochets, one, two, and number three, two double crochets, One and number two. Three single crochets. One, two. and three and we will end our repeat by doing one double crochet into this next stitch so that ends our repeat for row number 11. so let's recap that repeat our repeat began over here when we did one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, and then we end with one double crochet. So you'll start back over with that single crochet and keep working on down the rest of your row. We'll meet back up for row number 12 in just a moment.
Here's what your work will look like after completing row number 11. We're now moving on to row number 12. So please join on color A. Row 12's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. one single crochet one double crochet four single crochets one Two, three, and number four. Two double crochets. One. and number two. Five single crochets. One. Two. three, four, five, two double crochets, one, and number two. four single crochets, one, two, three, four, one double crochet, one single crochet into this next stitch and that ends our repeat for row number 12. so let's recap row 12's repeat began when we did our first double crochet one single crochet one double crochet four single crochets two double crochets, five single crochets, two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, and we end our repeat with one single crochet. So you will start back over with one double crochet and keep working the same set of stitches. We are now moving on to row 13, so please join on color B. Row 13's repeat begins with three single crochets. There's number one. Two. And number three. three double crochets, 
one, two, and number three. Three single crochets. One, two, and number three. We will now do two double crochets. One, and two. one single crochet two double crochets one and number two three single crochets, one, two, and number three. Three double crochets, One, two, and number And we will do two single crochets to end our repeat. There's one and number two. That ends our repeat for row 13. So let's recap what we did. Row 13's repeat began over here when we did three single crochets three double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So we are going to start back over with the three single crochets and keep working this exact set of stitches over and over on down the rest of your row. And then we'll be back for row 14 in just a moment. We are now moving on to row 14, so please join on color A. Row 14's repeat begins by doing two double crochets here into these next two stitches. There's one. And two. We will now do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. One double crochet, four, 
four single crochets, one, two, three, four, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, oops, two, three, four, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. And we will end our repeat by doing one double crochet into this next stitch. So let's recap what we just did. Row 14's repeat began over here with two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. And then we'll meet back up for row 15 in just a moment. We are now beginning row 15, so please join on color B. Row 15's repeat begins by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. One. and two, two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets, one, two, and three. Three double crochets, one, oops, two, and three. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. Three double crochets. One. Two. And three. Now we will do three single crochets. One, two, 
three, two double crochets, one, and number two. And we will end the repeat by doing one single crochet here in this next stitch. So let's recap. Row 15's repeat began over here when we did two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, and one single crochet. So you will start back over with your two single crochets and keep working this set of stitches on down your row. So here's what you'll have after completing row number 15. We're now moving on to row 16. So please join on color A. Row 16's repeat begins with one double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two, three, two double crochets, one, two, Now we will do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Three double crochets. One, two, and number three. Four single crochets. One, two, three and four, two single crochets, I'm sorry, two double crochets, two double crochets, one, and here's number two. Now we will do three single crochets, one, two, and three. And that ends our repeat for row number 16. So let's recap what we've done. Row 16's repeat began with one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, four single crochets, three double crochets, four single crochets, two double crochets, and then we end with three single crochets. So you will start back over with your double crochet and keep working the set of stitches until you reach the end of your row. We are now moving on to row number 17, so please join on color B. Row 17's repeat begins by doing one single crochet, 
right here on this next stitch. Now we will do one double crochet. Four single crochets. One, two, three, four, four double crochets. One, two, three, and number four. Three single crochets, one, two, and three. Four double crochets, one, two, three, and number four, four single crochets, one, two, three, four and we will end the repeat by doing one double crochet right here in that next stitch that ends our repeat for row 17 so let's recap it so row 17's repeat began over here when we did one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, four double crochets, three single crochets, four double crochets, four single crochets, and one double crochet ends the repeat for row 17. So you will start back over with your single crochet and keep working on down your row. We're now moving on to row 18, so please join on color A. Row 18's repeat begins by doing one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and number three, two double crochets, Here's one, and number two. four single crochets, one, two, and three, four, 
three double crochets. One. Two. three, four single crochets, one, two, three, four, two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets, one, two, and three. And that ends our repeat for row number 18. Row 18's repeat began over here with one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, four single crochets, three double crochets, four single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. So you will keep working this set of stitches on down your row. We're now moving on to row 19, so please join on color B. Row 19's repeat begins by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. There's one and number two. Two double crochets. One. And number two, three single crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, one, two, and number three. Three single crochets, one, two, and three. Now we will do three double crochets. One, two, and number three. One, two, and three. So after our three single crochets, we're going to do two double crochets. One, and number two. And then we will end the repeat for row 19 with one single crochet. So let's recap that repeat. Row 19's repeat began over here with two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, two 
double crochets, and we end with one single crochet. So let's keep working that same set on down the row. We'll meet back up for row number 20 in just a moment. We're now moving on to row number 20. So you will join on with color A. Row 20's repeat begins by doing two double crochets over the next two stitches. One. And number two. Now we will do four single crochets. One, two, three, and number four. One double crochet. four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. One double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, four, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. One double crochet ends our repeat. So let's recap what we have done for row number 20. Row 20's repeat began over here with two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you will pick back up at the beginning of the repeat and keep working the same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. And then we'll meet back up for row 21 in just a moment. We are now beginning row 21, so please join on color B. Row 21's repeat begins immediately by doing three single crochets over these next three stitches. There's one. Two. And number three. We will now do three double crochets. There's one, two, 
two, and number three. Three single crochets. One, two, three, two double crochets, one, and two. Now we will do one single crochet, two double crochets, one and two, three single crochets. One, two, and three. Three double crochets. One, two, And number three. Two single crochets over the next two stitches. There's one and number two. And that ends our repeat for row 21. So let's recap what we've done. Row 21's repeat began over here with three single crochets, two, or I'm sorry, three double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So you will start back over and complete three single crochets and work this set of stitches as many times as you need to to reach the end of your row. We'll be back in just a moment for row 22. We are now moving on to row 22, so please join on color A. Row 22's repeat begins by doing one double crochet one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. Two double crochets. One, and number two. Five single crochets. One. Two. 
two, three, four, and five. Two double crochets. One. And number two. Four single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. And we will do one double crochet here in this next stitch. One single crochet here in the very next stitch. And that ends our repeat for row number 22. So let's recap what we've done. Row 22's repeat began over here with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, two double crochets, five single crochets, two double crochets, four single crochets, and we end with one double crochet and one single crochet. Got a little ahead of myself there. So you're going to start back over with your double crochet and complete the same set of stitches on down your row. We are now moving on to row 23. Please join on color B. Row 23's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. Two double crochets, one and two, three single crochets. One, two, and three. Now we will do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Three single crochets, one, two, and three. Now we will do two double crochets, one, and two. Three single crochets, one, two, and three. 
And now we will end our repeat by doing one double crochet right here in that next stitch. And that ends our repeat for row number 23. So let's recap real quick. Row 23's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you will start back over and keep working that same set of stitches. Then we'll meet up for row 24. Row 24 begins now and you will join on color A. Our repeat for row number 24 begins with one double crochet. Two single crochets. One and number two. Two double crochets. one and number two three single crochets one two and three two double crochets one and number two. Now we will do three single crochets. One, two, and number three. Two double crochets. one and number two. Now we will do three single crochets. One, two, and number three. Two double crochets, one and number two. Two single crochets, one and number two. And that ends our repeat for row number 24. So let's go ahead and recap what we just did. We started row 24's repeat with one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So you will start back over with that double crochet down here and work on down the rest of your row. We'll be back in just a moment for row 25. Row 25 begins now. Please join on color B. Row 25's repeat begins with one single crochet, two 
two double crochets. One and number two. Three single crochets. One, two, three, two double crochets. One and number two. Three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet. Now we will do three single crochets. One, two, and three. One double crochet, or I'm sorry, two double crochets. One, and number two. Three single crochets, one, two, and three. Now we will end with two double crochets. One and number So let's recap row 25's repeat. Our repeat for row 25 began with one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, and then we end with two double crochets. So you guys know what to do. We'll meet back up for row 26. Row 26 begins now. Join on color A. Our repeat for row 26 begins with one double crochet. Three single crochets, one, two, and three, two double crochets, one, and number two. Three single crochets, one, two, and number three. Two double crochets, Number two, one single crochet, two 
double crochets. One, two, three single crochets. One, two, three, two double crochets. One and two. Three single crochets will end our repeat. Here's number one, two, and three. So that ends our repeat for row 26. So we began row 26 by doing one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, three single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. So that is your repeat for row 26. So you will work your double crochet on down through the rest of these stitches. So we'll be back just a moment with row 27. Row 27 begins now. We are working in color B. Row 27's repeat begins by doing one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, four, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, Three, four, and five. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One. two, three, and four, one double crochet, one single crochet, and one double and that ends our repeat for row 27. So let's recap that repeat. 
Row 27's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, and we end with one double crochet. You guys know what to do, and we will meet back up for row 28 in just a moment. Row 28, we will be working in color A, and we are going to begin working row 28 right now. Row 28's repeat begins with one double crochet, one single crochet, One double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, and number five. One double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, Three single crochets, one, two, and number three. One double crochet, four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. One double crochet. And we end the repeat with one single crochet. Right there. All right, so let's recap. Row 28's repeat began with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet and we end with one single crochet so you will work these stitches and then meet back up with me when you're ready for row 29. row 29 begins now and we are working in color b for this row row 29's repeat begins with one single crochet One double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, and three, two double crochets. 
One, two, three single crochets, one, two, oops, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, two double crochets, one, two, three single crochets, one, two, and three. One double crochet will end our repeat for row 29. All right, so let's recap. Row 29's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. <laughs> So you guys know what to do. We'll be back in just a moment for our final row, which is row number 30. All right, row number 30 starts now. We're working in color A. For this row, I am so excited to be here. I've been doing this all day long. <laughs> I'm ready to be done. So I'm sure you guys are too. So we are going to begin row 30's repeat right now. Row 30's repeat begins by doing one double crochet, eight single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight. One double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, and we do eight single crochets to end the repeat. So we do one, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number 
8 ends the repeat for row 30. So, let's recap. Row 30's repeat begins with 1 double crochet, 8 single crochets, 1 double crochet, 3 single crochets, 1 double crochet, and 8 single crochets ends the repeat. So you know what to do. You're going to work that on down the rest of your row. And then we'll be back just a moment to talk about what you need to do to continue to work up. All right, so when you finish up row number 30, this is what you will have. If you were going to do just this one full repeat of all, you know, all the rows involved to do the pattern. So if you're just going to do that and not continue to work up, then my suggestion is that you go back to row three and work row three as your very final row. That way you will have, in my case, it's yellow for color B, but you will have color B ending out the pattern right here. Now, for those of you who are going to use this pattern for a larger project and you're going to move up and repeat these rows over and over to create the project out of this just this one design, then you will be exposing the secondary pattern that is in between. So this is our main focus, what we're seeing right now. This is our main pattern. And right here and right here is a secondary pattern. So you're going to rewind in this video back to row number three. And you're going to work rows three through 30 over and over as many times as you want. And then you will, of course, also work row three as your very final row on your project so that your bottom down here where we started and where you end will match. They'll both look the same if you do that. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and until next time, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and by subscribing. I really cannot thank you guys enough and bye for now.